Recently, I conducted, shall we say, a little private experiment. I went into a number of local liquor stores, some of them being small, quaint little one-man operations, while others were large cathedral-like structures where your footsteps echoed as you walked down the seemingly endless aisles of product. In each case, I found an employee, and with as much innocence and naivete as I could muster, asked this person a few basic questions about whiskey, such as, what does the term small batch mean? Or what exactly is a single malt scotch? And while some people were quite knowledgeable, I was amazed to discover that the majority had either no idea what I was talking about, or their answers were simply wrong. Now, if the good folks behind the counter can't help us, what are we to do? Well, it's the five o'clock hour to the rescue. In this episode, we're going to attempt to clarify some of the words and phrases that you might see on a whiskey label. Let's begin. One of the phrases that has become quite common these days is small batch. This is a term that is usually reserved for American whiskeys and is in itself just a wee bit deceiving. Here's why. A regular batch of whiskey is created by mixing together any number of individual barrels to create a certain taste profile. A small batch whiskey is one created by mixing the contents of a relatively smaller number of selected barrels. Now, the problem here is nowhere on the bottle does it say what the distiller's idea of a small batch is. Is it five barrels? Is it a hundred barrels? Or how many barrels are used compared to that of a regular batch? And a small batch from a large distillery may in fact be much larger than the entire production from a smaller distillery. And although it does not specifically say this on the label, we are led to believe that because the distiller is using a smaller number of so-called selected barrels, that the whiskey within will be of higher quality. But I'm sorry to say that in some cases, this simply isn't true. You see, anyone can use the word small batch on their label as there are no legal requirements for doing so. And although you may find this hard to believe, in some cases, this is done purely to increase the price. Next, we have cask strength or barrel proof. These two terms mean the same thing, referring to the percentage of alcohol in a particular batch of whiskey. Most whiskeys before being bottled have water added to them to bring them down to a certain proof or alcohol level. But cask strength or barrel proof whiskeys are not diluted with water, but are bottled at whatever proof they happen to be straight from the barrel. This is why the proof or alcohol by volume will differ slightly from batch to batch. And because they are not diluted with water, the distiller gets fewer bottles from a single barrel, thus making the cost of these kinds of whiskeys much higher on average. Single barrel. These are usually considered to be the best whiskeys. Most whiskey you buy is a blend of any number of different barrels, all mixed together to create a certain taste profile. But all of the whiskey in a bottle labeled single barrel has come from one individual barrel with no other barrels mixed in. Why is this so special? Well, believe it or not, the location of an individual barrel within the aging facility will impact the final outcome of the whiskey. And each of these whiskeys are thought to have their own unique taste and quality to them. Most often, the barrel number and aging dates will be noted on the label. Now keep in mind that a single barrel whiskey is not necessarily barrel or cask strength unless it is specified on the label. This type of whiskey will usually command the highest price. One of the most misunderstood terms of all is single malt. The term single malt is usually associated with scotch and is simply the product of a single distillery. It is not, as many people are led to believe, the product of a single barrel or even a single batch. In fact, if you look closely, most single malt scotches are actually a blend or mixture of whiskeys. Blended. This is a whiskey that contains a mixture of barrel aged malt and or grain whiskeys. It may also contain added colorings and flavorings. The blending of whiskeys is usually done to help achieve a lower price point, but in some cases may also be done to obtain a certain taste profile that the distillers are looking for. These are usually lower priced products, 
although some expensive varieties do exist. Filtered or unfiltered? There seems to be some debate as to whether the filtering of whiskey is a good or a bad thing. Keep in mind now that whiskey is filtered not to improve the taste, but simply to keep the whiskey from obtaining a cloudy appearance. Most purists will tell you that the removal of the proteins, etc., that cause this cloudiness is to remove flavor. Others will tell you that these are really impurities and that their removal has no bearing whatsoever on taste. You be the judge. Just remember, knowledge is power here at the 5 o'clock hour. So please, join us each week as the 5 o'clock hour explores the history, the rituals, the gadgets and gizmos, the techniques, the recipes, the food, the drink, and all of the other wonderful and interesting things that make up this truly unique institution that we here call the 5 o'clock hour. Or visit us anytime at the 5 o'clockhourcom And please remember, enjoy the 5 o'clock hour responsibly. Until we meet again, cheers.